Hey everyone, Optimus Wilbur here, and this video is not suitable for children under the age of 13. This is aimed at young collectors and adult collectors. Let's start the video. Welcome everyone back to another Optimus Wilbur Reviews and if you want to make baby Grimlock happy why not hit the subscribe button, like the video, leave a comment, share it amongst your Transformer friends, this helps the channel out so much and if you want to see behind the scenes photos with the toy photography or anything else to support the channel check out the description box, there's a lot of links there that you can help support the channel and check out various things. Today we are looking at one of the favourites in the Armada line for me is, of course, Overload. There is a lot to this bot, but it's mostly with the add-ons and what he can do. It really is quite simple, and because of that, I will be adding extra stuff in this video today. So, like I teased at the end of Red Alert's video, we have got the Minicon Space Team, which forms the Requiem Blaster which came with the Ultra Magnus Energon version, which is just a repaint of him. Uh, but there was problems with that because Overload couldn't hold it, and I'll show that when it gets into transformation mode. But as an extra bonus, what I'm going to add in as well is Laser Beak, and for some reason he's an Autobot. <laughs> I don't understand why, but he's an Autobot in this one. But that's what we're going to cover today in today's video. But as you can see, Overload is actually quite a good length. He's a really good size. And some of the things I do like about him is what he can do. Now, everybody knows he can combine with Optimus Prime. I won't be doing it in this video. I'm going to be leaving that for the Power Links video. Where I'm going to be using Power Links Jetfire, Power Links Optimus Prime and Ultra Magnus to create that combination. And that'll be near the end of the actual Armada series I'm doing. But today we're just going to purely focus on Overload and the other ones I've got. The bot still moves fantastic, which I do like. And in the series, he really only showed up as the combination. He never really had a lot of on-screen time. If anything, he had nothing. The little comics and that you got with the Armada figures did show a lot more of Overload. I've not read any of the actual proper Armada comics that came out, so I would be telling a lie if I knew he was more in that, but assuming they would be known that they would emphasise more on all the characters. But he was one that could do a few things that were quite cool. So if we bring in Powerlink's Jetfire, and he's not going to sit right because I've got the attachments on him, you can see that that's what he could do. He could carry Jetfire. But the other thing which was cool about Overload, and if I just take Jetfire away and remove Rollout, which is his Minicon, which is also kind of like a Headmaster, you come underneath and you just flip these panels up. And if I bring in Powerlink's Optimus Prime, set him down, Optimus Prime can pull Overload. Now, there is another gimmick as well. Bringing in Prime's trailer, as you can see, I flip down this little hook underneath, and if I just angle this just right, there's a hole under the trailer. You can connect that. So, when Prime's pulling the trailer, you can pull Overload as well. So, it's nifty little ideas that you could do with this bot and the combinations that came with it, that was a lot of the selling points I loved about what this bot could do. We're going to start looking at transformations, and one thing you can do with Overload, if he was in the combination mode with Prime, is you can flip him round, flip down these two little pegs, and you've got a new blaster. But, like I said, it is kind of like a headmaster, and the way his Minicon worked was come to this panel, lift it up, peel down the legs, Flip this bit down with the arms, flip round, fix the zoom, come at the head, flip it down, and you just flip up this little head, and there you go, there is rollout 
and it is a mini headmaster. That is the way to take this bot completely. That is really it. Like I said, if you've seen the Energon review, which I will link in this video, it is just the exact same mould. It's just repainted. I actually do prefer those colours. I think they look a lot nicer on Overload, especially the grimier colour it's put on them. But that's not a takeaway what this bot was really like when I first got it. This is, again, one of the original bots I bought back in 2002. So now let's transform the body. Coming to the trailer, coming to the back, and what you're doing is just really unpegging these two, which release the arms down here. And you can just flip these round. So there you go. Come to the legs and just let them pop out. So then what you're doing is flipping the body round, twisting these parts round here. So they sit like that. Come to the legs, or the feet, sorry. Flip this panel, and click. Just be careful that there is a mess here. <laughs> and that would go for that one, and just do the exact same again. So that's overload ready, and if I pick him up, the legs just slide on. And you can get him sitting a bit better if you want. I think he looks okay like that. Come back up to the top. Now we are going to flip round the wheels here. Put down these panels. Twist them round, they've got that excellent clicking noise as usual. Push them up. And there is the main torso. Come to roll out and I've transformed them back so now what you're looking at is this part where the little head was. You're flipping up the main head. Close this. And if I push it in. It makes the original Transformers sound effect, which I still love. And that is Overload. That is really hit for him. There is really hardly any articulation. You can move the legs 90 degrees and the arms 90 degrees. That is it. There's no elbow joints. You can't twist the head. There's nothing. You can flip out these panels, which reveal missiles, but that is that. Now, bringing in the Space Minicon team, we have... Astroscope, Payload, and Sky Blast, and these guys formed the Requiem Blaster, which was one of the weapons the Minicons formed, the, the Decepticons and Autobots, set out to hunt. You will see the Star Saber and the Sky Boom Shield in a later video. I'm actually saving them for a certain triple set, so to speak, a certain Seeker triple set, because <laughs> I think they look a lot better on one certain bot. Especially the colour scheme I've got. But these guys do combine to make a blaster. Transformation uh, is tedious, I am not going to lie. Especially when it comes to the way it sits and holds. And they look like this at the end result. I decided to do it quick because they are the most tedious. Especially this one right at the end, which I still hate to this day. But that was the other gimmick. So these used to be a free pack, uh, and that was like the whole selling point with the Armada. I was trying to get after all these mini cons. I only bought certain teams, and it was the teams you've seen in the series, especially like so Preceptor, uh, the Requiem Blaster, Sky and Boom Shield, and the Star Saber. I wanted to get them, so let's now transform them into the Requiem Blaster. Now it's a Space Minicon team transformed into the Requiem Blaster. Let's bring back in Overload. And this is where the problem came. And this is why a lot of us didn't understand why this was packaged with Ultra Magnus with Energon. So, one of the biggest gripes about Overload is that clearing space for his hand. And if I bring in the Requiem Blaster, you can clearly see it's not going to fit. Now, thank you for Shapeways and 3D Printing. I will leave a link for this. Here is an extender for certain mini cons you want to use or anything like that that extends the ports. So, first off, let's put on the extender. 
So it looks like that. And now, finally, after all this time, Overload can now harness the power of the Requiem Blaster. It does look a bit big when you look at it like that, but when that was meant to be with the packaging and it never held, we had to wait 20 odd years before we got something. And I will leave a link because some of the things I got off Shapeways to either fix missing parts or fix stuff like this, which was a bugbear, um, was annoying back in the day because you didn't have that. And a lot of us didn't understand why would they do that? Why would you put something with that bot when it doesn't join? I can get the whole space gimmick being with him because of Jetfire and the way Jetfire can sit on him. But when you're looking at a, as a, a weapon that he can wield, it does look kind of silly when he can't hold it. But thankfully, we have got that add-on and it just looks incredible and I can't thank Shapeways enough for that but yeah that is Overload there is not a lot with this character again you'll see him back but it will be the Ultra Magnus recolor when I do the combination video at the end it'll probably be the second last video of course I'm leaving one for the very last you could probably guess it but I guarantee there's nothing you're ever going to see like this one it's coming for it but I did say there was going to be a bonus transformer in this so let's look at laser beak so laser beak in the series was a camcorder and yes he was an autobot and you can see we've got optimus prime in there we have the autobot logo and he still makes noises so the camcorder had this little bit you can press down turns into a blaster and there you go so it's just like one of those kids' toys you get in 2007 for the Transformers. Now, the ones that transformed into a phone and stuff. I'm mad I've done it here. But let's get into proper laser beak mode. And this is where I still love it. Now, come here. Press this button. Oh, it pops the head. Hold it down again. And out pops the wings. They're actually meant to pop <laughs> as soon as they do it. But I think it's just wear and tear. It is over 20 year old now, well nearly 20 year old, sorry. But there you go. There is Laserbeak. And I really do like this version. I, I know he's a Decepticon, he always will be the cassette. But I just love the look of that. The camera's not really picking up how orange it is. It is kind of like a fluorescent orange. Um, where as what you're seeing as the image, it kind of just looks like a bright orange. But it is quite fluorescent to see. But there you go, guys. That is it. Overload and the Requiem Blaster Space Minicon team and Laserbeak. So this has been a fun video. We managed to cram in a few more bots of the Armada series that I'm showcasing. So let's see what's up next. So up next, Transformer fans. I had to wait a little bit for them, but I have got Smokescreen's updated version when he took battle damage. Hoist is now finally here but because of how quick he'll be transformed i am also bringing in the humans minicon team which transforms into preceptor which is still one of my favorite minicon gimmicks again i just love what this little guy can do and the fact he transforms into a mini autobot even well a minicon but even better so guys, that will be up in the next Optimus Wilbur Reviews. As always, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please stay safe. If you want to check out anything, description box as always. And I will see you next time in the next Optimus Wilbur Reviews. Thank you for everyone who tuned in today's video. If you want to make baby Grimlock happy, why not hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. All new videos are always coming right here in Optimus Wilbur Reviews. If you'd like to follow me in any of my social media links, all the descriptions are in the description box below. And of course, as always, I cannot stress this enough. I wish to thank Cybertronic Spree for allowing me to use their song Cybertronic Warrior as the theme of this channel. Guys, this is an incredible band that does incredible covers and recently just done an amazing album of the Transformers 1986 movie soundtrack. 
please follow them and all their social media links. I have every description in the description box below. Please check them out. And as always, Transformer fans, till all are one.